Okay. So let's solve some problem on this. The question is give the addition product. Give the addition product. Now the first step hydrogen will be added. C1, C2. Hydrogen if gets added on C1 plus charge will be generated on C2. Now I am not going to show the whole thing again. You have that is done. Now if hydrogen is added on C2 plus charge will be added will be produced on C1. Now depending upon the position of the plus charge where the carbocation will be more stable, hydrogen will be added to the other carbon. Now if hydrogen gets added to C2, the plus charge is formed on C1. And if hydrogen gets added to C1, the plus charge is formed on C2. Though the major product will be the one where the plus charge is most stable because this is the this 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 first step. This first step is the RDS for the reaction. And because in the next step your a bond is being formed, a Br minus comes and C Br bond is formed or x minus comes and cx bond is formed so bond formation step is the step number two it will be a fast step step number one is the is the rds fine so you have to judge which, which carbocation is more stable and you, you can easily judge based upon hyperconjugation in this there are four hyperconjugating structures there are four alpha hydrogen two on each side in this if you see there is only one hydrogen here because this is a three degree carbon and there will be two hydrogens here because it's a two degree carbon so altogether there is two three alpha hydrogen so this has having more number of alpha hydrogen so this is more stable carbocation so the product corresponding to this carbocation will be the major product this is minor three alpha hydrogen this is major four alpha hydrogen in step number two, this Br minus will come in and get attached to this C plus. This will be the major product. Suppose we have to add HCl on this substrate. So you just have to go step by step. First step, add hydrogen. Preferably hydrogen will be added to an outer carbon so that plus charge is developed on the inner carbon. So step number one, if I do, so hydrogen gets added on the outer carbon, plus charge develops on the inner carbon because of stability. Now before you go to step number two, one thing that you can stupidly do is bring Cl- minus and form a bond between C plus and C minus. So H and Cl, H and Cl gets added. But uh, you will not do this mistake after studying all the lectures because you know that when a five member ring gets a opportunity to expand and convert to a six member ring, it never ever loses that opportunity. We may lose the opportunity to solve the problem correctly, but the five member ring will never lose the opportunity to get converted to a six member ring. So there will be a ring expansion and that ring expansion will be a fast process before the CL- can come and attack, ring would already be expanded. So if we do ring expansion, we'll get this. I'm drawing it straight away because we had had enough practice on this. And there will be a methyl group of course here. Fine. Now this is this the most stable carbocation? No, this is not the most stable carbocation because we can further stabilize the carbocation after rearrangement, after ring expansion. We can bring this carbocation at this position. We can have one, two hydride shift, and we can this bring carbocation, and we can make that carbocation as three degree carbocation. And now this is the most stable carbocation. Now the Cl minus can come in and form the bond and the final product. So this will be the major product for this particular substrate. 
fine so this is addition of hx now the similar similarly we can have addition of x2 as well suppose we take a uh, alkene and we take x2 that means we can take cl2 or pr2 or i2 we don't take f2 for the same reason as we didn't take hf now when we do this the reaction mechanism would be the similar similar to the one that we had seen for hx step number 1 would be same would be similar now here actually we are not having hydrogen previously in the in the last reaction we had hx so what ha there was electronegativity difference and this x had partial negative charge hydrogen has partial positive charge and the thirst of hydrogen for the electron actually initiated the reaction now in this case it now xx appears to be actually non polar and they we don't draw the dipole moment actually but uh, no, none of them is having del negative or del positive but in actually in the field of this alkene there will be a momentarily dipole moment induced in this x2 molecule although otherwise it is non polar and because of a momentarily induced dipole moment one of the x will have negative charge polarity and one of the x will have positive charge polarity and in that momentarily short moment the reaction will occur actually the reaction will be initiated and once it is initiated then the process would complete so even if it even though it is non polar but in the field of this alkene it will develop some polarity so that's how the reaction will proceed so to write the mechanism we can bring any of the x as we brought hydrogen in the previous reaction and the same story will continue as it happened in the last case electron will come in this orbital from the front side it will leave so without any dilly dally i'm straight away trying what we would get x will be added one of the x will come out this x comes out and a plus star develops here in the second step this x minus will come in penetrate through the solvent and attack on the c minus and get attached on the c minus as well so that would going to take some time so if there is a possibility of rearrangement of that c plus by the time this x minus comes and attack the c plus rearrangement would have already been occurred so that x minus will go and attack to a rearranged carbocation to a new position right so this will be the basically two steps involved and in between there can be rearrangement in most of the cases there would be rearrangement so effectively what we have we have vicinal dihalide we have vicinal dihalide vicinal vicinity means environment surrounding and they are close by in each other's vicinity so it is called as vicinal dihalide if two halogens are on the same carbon they are called as gem dihalide right we get vicinal dihalide in this case so the mechanism remains the same as in the case of hx okay now in this case this was a um, simple halogen molecule we can have interhalogen molecule as well interhalogen molecule like we can have clbr suppose Now instead of Cl Cl or Br Br, suppose we have Cl Br. Now these molecules are stable and they do exist. Now if we have addition of Cl Br, now Cl Br would be bromochloride, not chlorobromide, because it's a simple rule of inorganic chemistry that we name the positive part first and the negative part next. 
because of higher electronegativity of chlorine chlorine will pull electron and the chlorine will be the one having del negative charge and bromine will have del positive charge so bromine is the plus part plus half of this molecule and chlorine is the negative half so we say this as bromo chloride so if we add bromo chloride to this um, alkene then you have to get me the major product so get the major product and then listen any further the major product in order to if 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 you have understood the mechanism and if you have practiced the mechanism already then you will have no problem whatsoever the question is when we had hx hydrogen came for asking electron because hydrogen was deficient of electron when we have clbr the atom which is deficient of electron def will come and ask for electron to this pi bond in this case because chlorine's electronegativity is higher so bromine is electron deficient and bromine is the one which will come and ask for electron to this pi bond so bromine's atom would be towards alkene and chlorine's atom would be away so it is chlorine that will come out not bromine even though bromide ion is more stable than chloride ion because of higher size bromide ion will not come out because it's the way the reaction is initiated because bromine is having little charge uh, electronic dense deficiency so bromine is the one which is go which will go and ask for electron to the alkene so bromine is the one which will start to form a bond with carbon in the alkene and chloride molecule will correspondingly come out so the process would be is the same this br will form a bond with carbon and this cl minus will come out and this carbon will generate a plus charge so i'm not writing the second step as such the second the second step the cl minus will come in and attack this c plus so chlorine will get attached here so this is important because you don't have to reverse the position of chlorine and bromine this you have to understand and this is a very good problem to test your understanding of the mechanism of the but this particular reaction so we can also have then bromo we can have iodo bromide now this is not bromo iodide because bromine's electronegativity is higher than iodine so in this case bromine will develop a negative charge and iodine will develop a positive charge so the positive half is iodine so we'll say it iodo bromide now if we add iodo bromide iodine is the one that is going to add on the outer side and bromine is the one that is going to be added on the inner side so the product would be this so in this series let's solve a last problem and then we'll be done with addition now suppose you have to solve this now this is the reagent and this is the alkene and nothing else has been given and you have to get to the major product now extending upon the idea that we have been working on up till now you have to solve this problem and do solve this problem in order to satisfy your soul if you get to the major to the correct problem you will be the most satisfied person at this moment on this earth if you can do this your addition reaction is done now extend the idea extend the concept that we have studied and get to the correct get to the major product anyway i'm going to write the answer but first of all you should get the get the pr product on this all by yourself now look for electronegativity <laughs> chlorine sulfur whose electronegativity is higher you must know this chlorine's electronegativity is higher chlorine's electronegativity is comes in the fourth number in the order the highest being chlorine then oxygen then nitrogen and nitrogen is very close to chlorine but chlorine is slightly less than nitrogen so it comes in the fourth number very close to the third so chlorine's electronegativity is considerably high so chlorine will have del negative charge sulfur will have del positive charge chlorine is also a good leaving group so the when when the sulfur so actually sulfur will go and beg for electron and not chlorine 
and when sulfur begs for electron this pH minus doesn't come out this Cl minus comes out because this pH is not a good living group Cl minus is a good living group so 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 it's simple so the one which gets attached to the alkene is SPH the one that comes out is Cl minus and the plus charge is developed here and in the next step the Cl minus will come in and get attached to the C plus this will be the major product that's the idea of addition reaction and we are done with this let's solve a problem based upon the reactions we have studied up till now